Welcome to my land vlog where we go to ALGS and go to LA for some fun. So this is our plane for our 8 o'clock in the morning flight to land at LAX for 11.35 a.m. But before we did that, we went to this food place called Kelly's, where you just put your stuff into a kiosk, you don't deal with a person, they make it for you, and then boom, it's done. This food was so good, I wish we could have gotten it again, but obviously that wasn't the case. So this is actually the second time I've ever been on a plane. The first time was seven years ago, and that was to Florida and I was already scared of that flight. So I was like, how am I gonna do this one when it's six and a half? And believe it or not, it actually wasn't that bad. And we looked out the window so many times, like look at this view, it's beautiful. Wow! Out of all the states that we flew over, I'd have to say Colorado was my absolute favorite. It was so gorgeous from above. They gave us like a breakfast, lunch, whatever assortment to eat from. And let me tell you, I don't know, maybe cheese and fruit just taste better in the sky. That box was so good. So a uh, fun fact about this uh, little highway you're looking at right now, me and my brother kind of just bolted across it and got to this very point you see right now in the video. We wanted to get to In-N-Out in the worst way. <laughs> and we took the wrong, like, I guess, like, sidewalk or whatever, but those look like sidewalks you could just walk on, but apparently not the case. I never thought I'd see the LAX sign in person. So big. Just, let me tell you, this was the longest 30-minute walk ever. But we've never had In-N-Out, and this was, like, the first thing we wanted to do when we got off the plane. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> How are you? I just want to say I absolutely loved in and out It was affordable. It wasn't like crazy expensive. It was good. The quality was amazing. The atmosphere was chill. I would totally go back. Oh, I forgot. I need to put big nails on. Obviously, I'm not from LA. So if you know what this building is in the background, please let me know. I absolutely love the look of it. This is the absolutely gorgeous hotel we stayed in for about a thousand dollars for six days. We last minute decided to go to a Clippers game for the playoffs and I couldn't help but notice this really cool building with graffiti all over it. I remember seeing it on TikTok probably like months back. I absolutely love graffiti art, it's so cool to me. But this crypto arena is massive. So I don't know, maybe this is so California to me, but have you ever seen a salad vending machine? This wowed me. <laughs> We left the game about 10 minutes early because um, Ubers were gonna get really expensive. We didn't drive any of this trip. And let me tell you, Uber is not cheap. Did I mention this is actually my first ever land like in person for Apex Legends? I absolutely adore this game and I applied for a creator's badge and um, I got approved for it and I was so happy, like I was so stoked. I definitely bawled my eyes out upon that uh, email and um, so I decided I wanted to cosplay as Kawaii Kitty Watson pretty much all of the event and I had so much fun at my first LAN. I cannot wait for the next one in America. So during the event, there was a lot of like meet and greets and stuff. So like here, this is meeting the players from Cloud9 and Fnatic. They also did meet and greets for like casters, voice actors, 
a whole bunch of awesome great things. But the only team that I got to meet and greet with was LG because that is my absolute favorite team. Are you not great this as like the, one of the most iconic clips of all time? This, this is the epitome of King's Game, right? Well, here. It's actually impeccable that there are no guns on the floor. Yeah. There's no guns. That's really King's Game. Awesome. There's nothing. At this point. Welcome to my messy hotel room where everything is everywhere twice. Um, I was trying to prep my Nessies because I brought 400 to land, which means I had to also put them in baggies, sign them, all of that. Now, what you just saw was my jacket. My jacket took a beating at land. Oh my god. I had to uh, go to this grocery store down the street from our hotel named Ralph's and grab Kate's paint. It was washable, so I don't know how good it was, but do you see where I'm pointing? Right there is where I had to repaint the jacket. But I wanted it to look good, you know, gotta put my best foot forward, but yeah. Here I am just flexing myself in PGs. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so tomorrow we're going to Universal. I had so much fun here with my brother, we had to do matching outfits, cause why not? So I'm not like a diehard Harry Potter fan, but if someone could tell me what that purpley gem looking one is, that was my favorite wand. I don't know whose it is, but I loved it. These E.T. cups were so cool, and I remember my grandma absolutely loved E.T., so I had to record these just because they're beautiful cups. I had to absolutely take a picture with this Hello Kitty. Now, she saw my backpack, so she gave me a pin. <laughs> no way! She gave me that. Wait, did you take a picture of it? Yeah, I did a video. Ah! I did a video. <laughs> Look at the drinks that they have. Do I get a cool straw? Do I get a cool straw? I get a cool straw. Pop that power up right in this drink. <laughs> so right here we were heading to the studio tour which i honestly didn't know was going to be as cool as it was hello he's a great driver now for the next hour or so we're going to take you behind the scenes I absolutely love art, so I had to absolutely record all of this wall. I love the colors, I love the details, I love how big it is, like just, wow. Oh! Oh! I missed the shark, oh my god! That has been a highlight. Since the original 1964 studio tour, Norman Bates' house. Aside from my brother, he just couldn't be asked to take the picture. This is the only Hollywood sign we were going to see. I absolutely loved seeing the Fast and Furious cars, but we were not waiting in line for that, so we kind of just like sniped out a picture real quick. <laughs> Had to go to Starbucks to get a Camel Ribbon Crunch because why not? Why not spend $8 on a tiny, tiny drink? A tiny drink that would ruin my appetite for the rest of the day. <laughs> At this point, we finally made it here. Um, we accidentally paid for early access tickets and didn't really make it to the early access time, so... Wait times were 90 minutes for these rides, so we did not go on any rides. We went to the Mushroom Cafe, I think it's called, or whatever this place is. And it was really cute inside. You normally need a reservation, but we did just fine. I didn't eat any of my food here. The more you pop, the 
a bigger prize. You got oh, only one darts. prize you can win. Nope. Uh, it's not darts, but there's a nail behind each balloon that's what pops it. I'm a huge darts and balloons fan, so when I found out I had to throw stupid little sacks at the things, I was like, all right, whatever, but uh, we still won. Almost. We still got three. Good job. That gets you a donut. Thank you so much. <laughs> the objective of this game is to do eight shots in 30 seconds. My brother Yo. did this three times. He finally got it on the third time. So we're getting back into the apex part of this uh, vlog. Here I am in my Watson costume, of course, showing it off. I'm so proud of this costume. Like. It took me two weeks to make this bad boy. The amount of detail in it to get it done that quickly. I'm proud of myself for it. He's my cute little Nessies. I didn't wear this on that day though. Friendly reminder, this is Friday and I basically got to get to ALGS for the second match set and the third match set. And I wanted to wear my energy jersey because my favorite pro is Sweet Dreams and I've been following a stream since Rogue. So I wanted to kind of go in support of that. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is the amazing people that I sat with. I'm going to call this the Luminosity Gang. LG, LG, LG. I was hearing that in my sleep when I came back home from LA. I love these people. Um, I got a few of their names, but shout out to them. They really carried the vibes the rest of the week. Huge side note, we were definitely the loudest fandom. I don't know what to call it, fandom, fans, whatever. We were the loudest. Anytime we saw our team on the stage, on the screen, on the kill feed, we were in that. We were the loudest, hands down, and I will definitely die on that hill. There was no one louder than us. This next part we're going into is where I met voice actors, content creators, pretty much anyone that's really awesome. Picture we take. Uh -huh. Look at that! Look at that! And then obviously Larissa and Pod, I love her too. She is gorgeous. Can we just talk about how you're just gorgeous? And you're gorgeous too. Yeah, thank you. Well, I always say, you know, if they don't like what you see, put a bag over your head. I recognize you because I was like scrolling it's a through video. The video's rolling anyway, so. <laughs> that's okay, that's okay. Oh my god! It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh my god! Waiting for sweet. Look, you can take a picture. Dude, Fade, uh, Tippa, Jen Burton, everybody that's here. I got. I ended up signing that guy's shirt. I signed, I think, like two Nessies, and then I think, like, one of someone's signs. And. That was like the coolest thing ever to me. Like, I don't think I've ever really like signed anything like that, but I just want to say I love the Apex community. Land was so fun. I wish Land was more often. Like, I don't know how to explain it. My name is right here. Cosmo Kitty, New York Horizon. Diamond I'm, Liar. I'm, I, no. Liar. Out of everyone. Liar. I'm the only person that put New York. Followed by a repeat of Dog Zero and 67. Yo, what the fuck is this? That's fine. Hello, man. Luminosity Gaming will have great skill today. Trust me on this. <laughs> right here is the Ash voice actor. She was so sweet. This is just another thing that I signed. I cannot believe that still. Um, I absolutely adored this guy. He was hilarious. Carried the vibes over the weekend. So wholesome. This is Legendary Doll. I got to meet her. She was so wholesome, so sweet. I just want to take them home. I don't care who's in it. I absolutely love these stage walk opportunities, like seeing the teams get ready. Just being a part of this area was like so cool to me. Let's go! your name as big as you want i'm just gonna have you guys on it only that's it and can i give you guys something what they're like tiny what is it they're nessies and they're blue oh yeah real quick if you want it's my peace offering 
A little uh, LG Nessies, baby. Okay, so like really quick. It's kind of scuffed. Ooh, is that a Nessie? Yes. LG Nessie. Oh my lord. Nikki would love this. <laughs> I gave her one. I met you her did? in the bathroom. Oh my god. <laughs> You're too nice. I'm gonna act like I'm taking a selfie with you guys. Meeting my favorite streamer and favorite Apex ALGS team right now meant the world to me. It was such an awesome experience. I'm glad that they did a meet and greet for us. And uh, I will say we definitely cheered louder for them after we met them all. can't obviously hear it but even during this clip where the cosplayers are showing off the trophy we were still cheering LG. Um, I will say my next goal or at least part of my goal list I really want to be part of that cosplay group right there showing off the trophy. I think that's uh, I think it's one of the things that I'm definitely going to look into getting into so uh, yeah stay tuned for that. I wanted to show the uh, crowd at least one more time before the games got closed out. There were a lot of teams on match point. LG was kind of shy of match point, but we were still like hoping that we'd get another game out of them, but we didn't. Reject Winity kind of like reeled it in and won there, but that's okay. I still think it was a really, really fun time. I think the next split is going to be absolutely amazing. Super happy for Reject Winity. It's nice to see another team win. And I think they're APEC. I don't know. I'm probably going to sound really stupid here, but I know it's a different region. <laughs> I know it's a different region, but good for them. I'm happy to see another team win. It's nice to get that variety. You know what I mean? Here I am showing off my cosplay again because I'm obsessed with it. What can I say? I worked really hard on it and I'm obsessed with this camera. It is the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. It's, no, this isn't sponsored by the way, guys, so don't even. It's just, it's on the gimbal, you know, it keeps the video nice and like stable. It had great sound quality, great picture quality, films up to 4K, like you can't go wrong with that. So while I'm just showing you random stuff that I got at LAN or things that I did have at LAN, I just want to kind of close out the video with thank you to the devs, the staff, thank you Respawn, EA, Apex for existing. This game means a lot to me and to get a creator's badge for Apex Legends was just wow for me. Like even just talking about it right now, I'm starting to kind of like feel the tears come on. So I'm not going to go too crazy about it, but it was such an honor to get to meet the community in person and touch base with so many like-minded creators, voice actors, people that genuinely care about the game. Like, it was an amazing opportunity. And, you know, I got over a fear of flying across the country. So, you know what, Apex? Thank you for that. <laughs> Aside from that, we went to LAX and I saw the craziest BBL I have ever seen. Lord have mercy. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. I cannot believe you right now. <laughs> we had a 1.40 p.m. flight, and um, with the three-hour time difference, we didn't get back home until about 10 o'clock at night in Boston. But don't leave yet. I, I got a little juicy announcement for you guys after this clip right here, so don't go yet. All right, so let's get into that announcement. Um, I'm coming back to streaming. I'm going to try to stream once a week. And it'll be mostly around 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, but uh, I think our return date's gonna be May 17th, so I'll uh, see you guys there.